Yo, ho, ho, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a treat for you. It is the newest floor plan by Cedar Creek. It's the 2023 Cedar Creek 390RK, RK standing for rear kitchen. And this is a truly unique one. It's got one of the coolest bedroom setups that I've ever seen with more dresser space than my house, a desk, and a place for a washer and dryer. Plus, it's also in my favorite setup, the rear kitchen. But if you guys are looking for things like specifications, awning size, length, weight, height, tank sizes, all that, you can find that down in the description of this video, along with my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, you know, I'd love to help you buy one. I am in a sales position here at RV Nation and having a conversation, see if uh, you know, maybe we can do some business together. But again, this is the 2023 Cedar Creek 390RK. And if you guys like this video, if you find some value in it, if you guys could consider hitting that like and subscribe button, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. So this again is Cedar Creek's newest floor plan. And you'll notice if you haven't seen my Cedar Creek videos before, Cedar Creek got a huge makeover. So they went away with the dark tones, brought in the light and the bright. You got the woodblock accent. Everything is looking really nice and modern. Uh, the flooring got a little bit brighter. And as you can see on this floor plan, due to the opposing slides, there is a ton of walking space and just hangout space during the day if you get you know, kind of stuck in the camper uh, on a rainy day. But right over here, you get your super slide. So I'm a big fan of this. It is tall, it is wide, it is deep. It gives you big windows, big seating, big refrigerator, and you get accent lighting there up above for a nice ambient glow. You also have more accent lighting, you know, in the back with the kitchen and then on this slide as well. So, you know, at night, if you want a midnight snack, you can sneak back here without turning on any of the lights. Pretty darn cool. So the Cedar Creek, the head height of the slide. You know, I'm six feet tall for reference. I'd probably put that somewhere around six, seven, six, eight. So definitely a big selling feature. Uh, you're also going to notice the windows are absolutely massive. All are tinted all open up for a nice cross breeze and they also come with you know the day shades to block out a little bit of the sun and then the night shades to get your dracula on and block out all of the sun so right here you have your thomas Payne collection uh recliners they're very comfortable they go back pretty much all the way so if you'd like to sleep in them you know you're more than able to do so uh, but they are the power recliners and right here you know you have extend and retract. They also come with a USB port, so there's a control here and one right over there. You also have your two little cup holders and a little cubby to maybe store some, um, you know, some controllers or something like something like that. Uh, you also have your extend and retract. So if you get the second awning, uh, that's what that's going to be for. So the second awning goes off of this slide, and I'll show you that towards the exterior portion of this tour, but that's where that control is going to be. You have a dinette with two chairs. There should be two more fold-up chairs probably stored underneath the bed, I would imagine. Haven't explored this floor plan, you know, fully yet, kind of doing that with you, uh, but this table does have an extender here underneath. You just simply pull it out, lift up, and push in, and bada bing, bada boom, you got a little extension, so that way you can put two chairs, have some breakfast, chill out, read a book, maybe play some cards, you know, something like that. But I love how they were thoughtful enough to put that in. And even the chair got a new makeover, not as dark. Outlets there underneath. You have outlets right here. And then you have your universal C charger and your USB. You also get manual lights for all the lighting here. And the only reason why I point that out is this camper comes with a Firefly system, which is a touch screen that has them all very easily and clearly labeled. But you can do them manually as well if for some reason that was to fail. And anytime you see those arrows with the up and down, that's going to mean that that light is on a dimmer. So this is the dinette. So one click of a button turns off. Or you can simply hold it. And you see it gets really dim. You know, maybe for the night mood. Or you can keep holding it and get it, you know, as bright as possible. So pretty cool that they have that easily labeled. Again, you can control that from the Firefly system that I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, one to show you this, this is new, uh, the Valance. So you got that kind of that gold speckled look with the kind of white casing. Again, the windows all open up for a nice cross breeze, the day and night shade. 
You also have a massive LG refrigerator. This is going to be a residential style, so it'll run off of the electric. But you get a really nice size freezer. So you got a little pull, pull drawer right here uh, with an ice maker, which you'll see it's going to be right there. And then you have the partition bottom as well, just to kind of keep things nice and organized. And whether you're full timing or just using this for weekends, you have more than enough space, you know, for a week's worth of uh, food. Absolutely no problem. This thing is absolutely massive, just like the one in a lot of people's houses, a little bit nicer than the one that's at my house. So uh, yeah, there's that. And then right up here, you get a little storage. You'll notice it is staying up on its own. That's going to be something, it's a small feature to point out, but it is a pretty nice one. You know, not all campers have the ability to kind of have hands-free uh, when you do that. A lot of them you have to you have to hold up. You'll also notice too, soft close. So you don't have to worry about slamming shut. Now this is a rear kitchen model. So, you know, here we're in the rear and here is the kitchen. <laughs> so you're going to notice absolute ton of storage. Um, all the way up to the ceiling. This is a full profile unit, meaning the height will be the same all the way through the front of the bedroom. Um, so basically in turn, it allows you to have this absolutely massive storage space. So, you know, above your sink, above your oven, above the microwave, all of this is just chock full with good, useful storage. So, I mean, check that out. It is just all over the place. And even right here, you know, even though it's a little hard to reach, I'm six feet tall and I can barely even reach, you know, to even get something in there. It's just nice to have for some of your kind of your stow and go items. When you're not using it, maybe store some blankets or some towels, you know, or something like that. Just more storage, just more ability, you know, to kind of pack rat some stuff in there. And I'll kind of show you this top layer of storage first, and then we'll kind of go around the bottom, show you the dishwasher, you know, the oven, the sink, you know, all that good stuff. But kind of work in one, I guess, kind of motion, I guess I should say. And if you guys have made it this far, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, like I said, or I think I said at least, I hit 10,000 the other day. That was my goal for the entire year. Hit it a month and a half early, so now I am on to the next and I am working hard to hit 25,000. Hope to have that by uh, the end of next year. So anything you can do to help me out, you know, I'd appreciate it. You got your Insignia microwave. So really nice microwave, good size to it. Plus I think it adds to the decor with the stainless steel finish. And then right here, you get this absolutely massive pantry. I mean, check that out. Doesn't get much better than that. And you also get a couple pull-out drawers as well. You're also going to see that there's an outlet, uh, but this is how these drawers pull out. So this customer ordered this camper with the four camera safety system. And with that, you're going to get your seven inch uh, screen, but essentially, and again, I'll show you this on the outside portion, but you're going to have um, a camera on the front left of the camper, front right above the door, and then heading out the rear. So that way you can see what's going on when you're driving down the road at a couple different angles, you know, making changing lanes, and all that stuff, just nice and easy. Uh, but one thing I wanted to show you here is all the floor space back in the kitchen. So it is not cramped up. You can have a couple people getting a snack, you know, maybe uh, cooking something over here and not be kind of crawling all over each other. So right here you have the Insignia. This is the industry's largest oven. I'm a huge oven guy inside of Fifth Wheels. I like to do my cooking. We got Thanksgiving right up around the corner. You have four stove top burners, so you can cook up all the fixins maybe some mashed potatoes, some green beans, some corn, heck, I don't know, maybe some yams. And then right in there, you can throw in the golden goose, baby, the turkey. You got plenty of room to throw that in there. You also have four pull-out drawers, and they're all gonna be looking like that. So plenty of space. The top one's gonna be the only one that's a little bit different because they put you know this in there, but it is removable, but that helps kind of get space for your knives and spoons and forks and all that good stuff. So a lot of good countertop space, solid surface. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. About a month and a half, happily married. Got an outlet there, but tons of counter space. Another outlet right here, and then another USB and universal C charger. 
You got a good size window, again, opens up with the day and night shade. You also have your double stainless under, a little, double undermounted stainless steel bowl. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, but good size to do, you know, all your dishes. You also have a drying rack, so if you don't want to use the dishwasher, you can just throw things up on the drying rack. You also get your high-rise faucet, hitting those dishes from all angles. Underneath the sink, you get some really good storage and then some access to your plumbing, along with, you know, a little, um, little garbage can. This is going to be your washer, or your dishwasher, I'm sorry. Pretty good little setup. You don't even have to do dishes really inside the camper. You throw them in there and much like your house, you know, it's home on the road. So I think that about wraps it up here for the rear kitchen. I'll give you one more kind of little good view of this. But really nice little setup. Oh, I did forget to show you this. So they changed, they added the wood block up top to kind of bounce off, keep the tones nice and flowing. You have your max air vent fan right here so if you are cooking in the oven you can turn that on kind of suck up some of the you know whether it's steam or maybe smells from like cooking bacon or something like that this unit also has three ac so you have one right here one right there then one in the bedroom uh, but if you would like for some reason you know more kind of ac right down in here you can open up the dump valves and it'll cool this direct area you know in a hurry all three do feature that and it's something that all ACs, you know, at least that I know of, predominantly do. But I just wanted to kind of point it out for you. So now we're kind of going into the living room. I already showed you this super slide here on the right, you know, with your dinette and your recliner. Uh, but you also get a ton of seating, you know, right over here and your entertainment section with that fireplace. So the opposing slides gives you a huge open living room. You don't feel cramped up on the rainy days. A lot of good window space here for this slide. You have an emergency exit right over here. And then this slide with the couch, by the way, that does pull out. It goes to just right over here. Um, you can definitely sleep, you know, two adults on there, a handful of kids, whatever you need to do. Even though this is traditionally a couple's coach, it does have the ability to, you know, to sleep a few more. Um, but you get, since the height of these slides, you do get big windows again, and they do all open up. So that way you can get that breeze going. And this really kind of shows off that they are the tinted windows. So yeah, there's that. And for height reference on this side, again, the same height as the other, probably six, seven, six, eight, something around there. I don't know. Thomas Paine collection. Again, you have the recliners, but it's not the one with the, with the center console kind of in the middle. This is more of like your love seat. So power recliner there, power recliner there. And again, you have your USB ports. You get an outlet right here, and then more of your manual controls for your ceiling and your slide. And you notice they have those arrows, so they are on dimmers. And then right across from these seats, you get your entertainment. It looks like you get about a 50-inch TV, I would guess. It's an Insignia, a smart TV, um, so you know you can play you know, Netflix, anything like that on there. But you get a lot of storage, both below and up top, due to the head height of the Cedar Creek. A little bit of countertop space as well. And then, of course, your electric fireplace. And that thing has a setting, uh, no joke, goes up to 100 degrees. And it is more than enough to heat this entire area. You know, absolutely no problem on a day where it's 40, 45 degrees. Um, you know, that's for sure. But it has a couple different heating modes, or a couple different light modes, rather. I'm sorry. Uh, but you have that one. You got an orange. You got a red. You got more of a blue. Got a lot going on there you can change around. Black back, ah, blue. black back drop. A lot of tongue twisters on this one. Back there in that storage. Got yourself a little ceiling fan. Keep the air flowing. Keeping it nice and cool in here. And this is where things start to get interesting. You go up into this bedroom and it gets pretty darn nuts. So you have your central vac right there. The wood block steps with your night lights. You have your fuse box, so if for some reason something isn't working, open that up. Everything is coated, so if, um, if a fuse trips on you, uh, it will light up. This is going to be the control for your max air vent. This is your solar charge controller to let you know uh, that the solar is doing its job and it's charging this camper up. 
this is going to be the control for the fan. So you flip that. And as you can see, it starts to turn around, turn on. And this is going to be your Firefly system. So you can either control it right here or you can download the Myra app uh, right there on your cell phone. And you can control this camper right from your phone. Open up the slides, turn on the lights, maybe when it's raining and you don't want to get in and out. But this is a pretty cool little functional uh, screen for you. It shows you all your different fresh gray tanks, all the levels, your water pump, your tank heaters, gen start and stop. It shows you how full your battery is, master light. And this is going to be your lighting controls where you can do you know, all the controls right there. Again, with the little arrows, you know, with the accent lighting. Your HVAC system where you can individually control each room. So if you like to, you know, sleep a little bit cooler, bump that bedroom down to 63, 64 and keep your kitchen, you know, in mid-room a little bit hotter. Uh, the kitchen also has the heat pump. So in addition to the electric fireplace, you do have a heat pump as well. And this is going to be all your slides. So they're all color coordinated. You really don't even have to read to be able to to do that, just you know, blue and green and red, you're good to go. And this is going to be your settings where you can access you know, the mobile app, figure out how to do that. That's your ID, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Network diagnostics, screen brightness, you know, all that's going to be right there. So this is the entrance here into the bedroom, and this is an incredible bedroom. So you got a hand grab handle right there, a little bench. Little octopus guys right here for some hanging clothes. It's kind of like a nice little hallway feel. You got a window for a good breeze, again with the day and night shades. But this slide begins here and it ends all the way back in the bedroom. So let's just show you this. That's what this side is going to be like. Really good storage right here. It's actually almost borderline on excessive storage in this bedroom, to be quite honest with you. But you got kind of your hanging closet space. And then you got these little cubbies. Then I'll show you the bedroom first, then I'll show you the bathroom. But this is going to be your bedroom. So you have a huge, massive uh, window right up front. It's also got the shade so you can block it out, create yourself some privacy. But it's going to be kind of that plexiglass, you know, high grade plastic finish. You don't have to worry about it cracking while you're driving down the road. But I love how they added this desk setup. So if you need to get some work done, you're on the road, you know, plop your desktop, plop your computer, and, you know, get to work with a view. I think that is pretty awesome. Also, to aid that, since it is the desk, they went ahead and added in the King uh, Wi-Fi router. Um, so that way, you know, you can get your Wi-Fi at a little bit longer distances than other people. Outlet, Universal C and USB. You got yourself a TV right here that's going to be on a swivel so you can angle it however that you please. A couple pull out drawers here on the desk, all of which are looking like that. And if you wanted to put a washer and dryer, you can definitely fit in a combo unit. Uh, so they went ahead and put this right here, so no wasted space. Open that up and everything, you know, is ready to go. You have your outlet there in the back, your connection for your hot and cold water. It's all right there. Then you also have an outlet right here as well. Swing it around uh, to the bed. You got a couple night lights. You got a good decor going on. You have windows to the left and to the right. You also have more USB and universal C chargers right there and right there. Oh. So there are going to be those two chairs there for the dinette, but really nice storage here underneath the bed. You're also going to see you have yourself an outlet right there. And then along this absolutely massive slide, uh, you get kind of your dresser set up. So you have another window with an emergency exit, and you have a ton of space for your clothes. So you're going to have four of these, all of which are going to be right here. And then you have another dresser set up right here. So three large drawers. And then this top one's just going to be a hair smaller. A little more countertop space with an outlet. Give you one more peek here at this bedroom. I just think that desk with that window there, that is nice. That is what would sell me, you know, on this camper. I just think that is cool to be sitting down and just hanging out. So this is going to be... 
uh, your bathroom. Don't mind that pink stuff there. That is going to be your winterization since it's that time of year. But you have accent lighting here below and you have accent lighting up and around the mirror. Show you the bowling arm, baby. 200 average and climbing. Doing pretty good. Had a rough week last week, but you know, that's okay. You win some, you lose some. Outlet to both the left and the right. You got a kind of a couple sink and there are those angled ones. So you don't have to worry about it splashing water back up at you. You also have a place for a couple hand towels and then a ton of storage. And this is going to be the same both left and right. So I'll show you on this side. Top one's going to be a little smaller. Bottom two, just a little bit bigger. Again, soft close. Access to your plumbing and a little bit of storage. Switch it around. You got yourself a TP holder. And then you got yourself a foot flush uh, toilet. Porcelain. You got your shower. And it's one of those fancy ones with four spouts that all spit out water. So that's pretty darn cool. One right here, a little hand wand, and then two right there. You know, so that's a nice feature to have. And then you got more storage right here. But guys, I think that's about it. I'm going to do the outside. I'll give you one more peek around here on the inside. But um, it's the 2023 Cedar Creek 390 RK. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope you consider hitting that like and subscribe button. You know, to stick around for more videos. And make sure you drop any recommendations. Uh, I definitely read them. I try to do as many that I can. You know, if there's a certain camper you're looking for, you know, drop a comment, email, text me. You know, I'm here to help. All right, 2023 Cedar Creek 390 RK. I think that's going to be a pretty good fan favorite. So now I'm just going to spend a couple minutes on the outside, show you some things, you know, that I personally enjoy. And right off the bat, you're going to notice that it has this absolutely massive pass-through storage. So big fan of that. They also went ahead and toughened that up with kind of that, that rock guard material right there so it doesn't scratch up. Little maintenance panel. Let me click that off. Uh, outlet and a place for your cable and satellite. Back end of the central vacuum that's inside of there. Also shows off the construction. So you got your huck bolts, aluminum, and you're going to notice there's no wood exposed, so it's all wrapped up. Yeah. Got the slam latch doors. And one thing that I appreciate about Cedar Creek that they're doing is these are not the cheap plastic ones. These are, they're actually a metal. Outlets and a spray port if you need some access to some water. This is gonna be kind of your outdoor kitchen setup. So the griddle uh, was in there inside that uh, cardboard box, but you set your griddle up right here. You got yourself a little mini refrigerator. And then right underneath, Let's see here. Hmm, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that wasn't a girdle. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, it is a griddle. So there's going to be an LP quick connect under there. I uh, didn't see it, but it's got to be somewhere under there, I would assume, since it's got the griddle. Solid entry steps with the Cedar Creek cutout. And one thing I like about these is they're spring loaded. So you see, you know, whether you're older or younger, um, or you just kind of slip, it won't fall down and bonk your head. So that's pretty darn nice. Six point hydraulic auto leveling. You also have two axles on this with the road armor suspension. So a little bit more comfortable, you know, while you're driving down the road. This customer again, ordered it with two awnings. This is gonna be your main standard awning. They both have LED strips that are running underneath. And this is gonna be your second Thule awning. They also ordered it with the slide toppers. So right here, that's what a slide topper is. It's essentially an awning for the top of your slide. So any type of debris, whether it be rain, you know, or tree branches, pine needles, anything like that, that slide topper protects it. So if you didn't have it and a tree branch landed in there and you put that slide in, it would actually potentially crunch into your seal causing a leak. Now I told you on the inside, they got the four camera safety system. So that's gonna be the camera right there off the main door. And then, 
There'll be another one right here, one on the front side of the camper, and then one on the back. Low point drain is going to be right under there. All the Cedar Creeks, they do come with a hitch with a 300 pound you know, weight capacity. You're also going to notice frameless windows. So that's nice, a little fancier looking. There's the rear camera and then the Lippert on the go ladder prep. So you can buy that off of Lippert's website. It's essentially just a ladder that you put in there. Um, so that way you can get on top of your camper, check out all your seals you know, do all your maintenance items that you need, check your slides if you don't get the slide toppers, you know, all that good stuff. It is a fully walkable roof, uh, so you don't have to worry about getting up there. You know, it's meant to be walked on. A Little bit of storage. This is gonna be your galley tank and your sewer outlet connection. Got your spare tire under there, and it also shows you that this is all fully buttoned up for that cold weather camping. Again, the slide toppers on all of the slides, so really nice to have. If you happen to see one at a lot uh, that doesn't have the slides, you can add it. They're about 700 bucks a piece, but they are very nice to have. You have another sewer outlet connection. Back end of the hot water heater. And this is the back end of your pass-through storage. So you have your easy reel right here, so power reel, and then your docking station. So this is going to have all your different valves for your galley, bath tank, black tank, battery disconnect, all your hydraulic controls. You know, so if you stop and you just want to open, let's say the main slide, well, you flip these two over so they don't work. And then, you know, that just controls just that one slide. So pretty nice to have that. Outside shower with hot and cold water access. Front cap lights. I should have turned those on. And this is going to be all your valves for, you know, your winterization, your dry camping. You also have your black tank flush that's going to be right there, which essentially is a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. And then you have your, you know, your water connections. It's going to be where you have battery and some access to, uh, you know, some of your maintenance items there for your slides. Your auto leveling control right there. And it looks like this customer ordered it with the generator. And you also get some good storage as well. Got yourself a Kurt pin box. So you got that little donut right there. So when you're driving down the road, you know, it kind of compresses, taking out some of that chucking and bucking, making it a little bit more comfortable. I'll show you the front end of that. But guys, this about wraps up the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you around for some, uh, for some other videos. But again, this was the 2023 Cedar Creek 390RK. My name is Hunter. Have a good night. See ya.